Hi, good day guys. Welcome back to PJs. Today I'm going to look at a, another issue on the carburetor and that is the few leaks that you can experience with the carburetor, the KNKS2. I will address the common fuel leaks and the consequences thereof and also how to identify and how to remedy that problem. Having a fuel leak can affect your performance and also more importantly it can start a fire in your engine bay so we need to identify where the fuel leaks are coming from. Now one of the common areas where you have the fuel leak is around here. This is called your accelerator pump. So how that accelerator pump works is like this. Once you put your foot on the gas pedal inside the car, it will squirt an amount of fuel down the throat of the carburetor. I don't think you can see that. I'm doing that now, but when you do that, to check your accelerator pump, it must squirt an amount of fuel down the carburetor throat. And this is what it looks like from this side when you're putting your foot on the pedal in the car. You can see it moves over there. And as that happens, the accelerator pump is pushing down on the diaphragm. And with that action, it pushes fuel through into the carb down the throat. But with that diaphragm inside there being faulty, it may be punctured. You will find that it doesn't give you the proper performance and you will find a fuel leak right here where I'm showing now and that fuel will run down onto your hot um, exhaust manifold and that is very dangerous. So the best thing to do is to take off the carb and to put in a new diaphragm. Um, it's quite simple once you have the carb off. It's just um, attached with three little screws, turn the carb upside down but you'll be able to figure it out once you have the carb off. So if you have been struggling to start um, your car, um, it just doesn't want to fire up. It could be that you have a faulty diaphragm inside there. And also if you're smelling a lot of fuel and if you're seeing it wet around there, that was all the symptoms because with a faulty diaphragm, the car will not start because you won't be able to get a squirt of fuel into the carburetor here. So that is why what you do is you throw some fuel in there, then it starts. Another area where you will get fuel leaks on the carburetor is with a gasket that runs along here. Right along this area here, right around the car. So obviously when you take off the lid of the car and in between the lid and the actual bowl, you will find a gasket. So the gasket actually leaks outside and it can leak internally but I'll get into that now I'll explain to you something that uh, many of us overlook with the carb gasket one can easily see if it's leaking on the side there you can see it's wet but now did you know that internally it can also leak and if you look at the design of the gasket you'll understand what I mean have you ever discovered when you're taking left hand turns that your car idles a little bit farther faster as you come to a stop and some of us may even find that the car starts to stall as if it's not getting enough petrol now i'm going to explain that to you it is because the fuel that is sitting in your fuel bowl is actually running into the throat of the carburetor I'm going to put a pick up now so that I can explain it to you in more detail. So there you can see a pick of the opened up carb and also the gasket that goes on top of it. And you can see on the gasket that there are compartments, compartment where the fuel is stored in the fuel bowl. And if you look back at the pick here, you'll see what I'm trying to get at. I believe that the fuel is making its way from the fuel bowl and it's running into the throats of the carb because of a bad quality gasket. And this happens when you take a left hand turn and you're coming to a stop. You will find that the engine 
either at idles a little bit higher or because of the excessive amount of fuel it begins to stall. That is when you have a bad gasket or a bad quality gasket because internally the fuel in the fuel bowl must stay there. It must not make its way over to the throat of the carburetor which is your first and your second stage. It's supposed to stay there. So that means you've got a bad gasket or you just got a bad quality gasket. And if the amount of fuel running over is excessive, the car will actually is cut out and stall. That's now when you're, when you're coming to a stop and you're idle. And you will even find that when you try to start the car up again, you struggle to start it because it's basically flooded because some of your plugs are wet with fuel. And, and, and if you look, have a look closer down here, you will also find that this area here will be wet. So that is why guys have come to realize that it's crucial that you have a good quality gasket between the top and the bottom of the car, preferably a rubber. If it's um, cardboard, make sure that it's thick. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video will help you uh, solve your 